Hello, we're back for another week of Truth and Training. This week we are looking at how the Bible helps us to know God. Do you recognize this individual? You probably do. This is Dwayne Johnson, otherwise known as The Rock. You probably have seen him in some movies like Jumanji, Welcome Back to the Jungle. You've definitely heard him in a movie like um, Moana, where he played Maui. He's also a producer. He's a wrestler. He also hosts a uh, television game show called The Titan Games. So he's a really popular, very famous guy from California. And he does a lot of uh, interesting and neat things. Can you claim that you actually know Dwayne Johnson? Have you met him in person? Um, have you been to his house? What are some things that you might do to get to know him better? That's probably going to be difficult because he is so famous. He doesn't live in this area. And he's just, we probably won't cross paths with him, right? So you might know about Dwayne Johnson, but do you really know Dwayne Johnson? Think about... Um, either a teacher that you like, or maybe you're a WANA leader. How much do you know about them? You probably know more about them than you realize. You might know what they like to do, what their hobbies are, um, what favorite foods they have. There's, there's different things that you might know about them. So by having a relationship with somebody like your teacher or your Awana leader or your pastor or somebody else that's not in your immediate family, but somebody who you see on a regular basis, you really get to know them, not just know about them, not just know that they exist and, and know some facts, but you really get to know that person. Some people claim to know God when they really only know about him. There is a big difference, and that's what we're talking about this week. The Bible is going to help us get to know God. Let's look at our key verse for the week. It is John chapter 20, verse 31. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. So God's word, as we had talked about, was written by God, to help us to know God. It was written so that we might know and believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And if we believe and trust in Jesus as our Savior, we will have eternal life. It's all right there in that verse. But these, the words of the Bible, are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God and that by believing you may have life in his name. So there's a difference about between knowing God and knowing about God. We get to know God through his word, the Bible. And so when we explore scripture, we learn about God. Let's look at Psalm 145, verses 8 and 9. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. There's a lot in those two verses that describes God. He's gracious. He's compassionate. Slow to anger. Rich in love. Good to all. And has compassion on all he has made. Definitely sounds like somebody you want to get to know, right? The Bible also teaches us about Jesus. And we can find this in John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. We know that verse. The next verse you might not remember as well. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So Jesus came 
as God's gift to us, came to live on this earth and die and rose again so that we may all have eternal life if we so choose. So knowing how to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ is the most important thing he wants us to learn from the Bible. If we look at our verse again, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. That is the most important thing that God wants us to get out of the Bible. We're going to look at one more scripture. It's 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. When we read the scripture, we need to be thinking about the more we read, the more we study God's word, the better we will get to know God and what he wants us to do. Starting in verse 16, it says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. All scripture, everything that's in the Bible, came from God, and it's useful for helping us to learn, to be corrected, to understand when we've done something wrong and not do it again, to be trained in righteousness, all so that we can be God's servant on earth and we can be equipped to do what God wants us to. God's word was written to help us know God. The Bible was written to help us know and believe in his son, Jesus Christ. And if we believe and trust in Jesus as our Savior, we will have eternal life. I encourage you to read your Bible regularly. And I really encourage you to get to know Jesus through reading the Bible. Ultimately, each one of us as leaders wants you to believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior and trust him so that you too can share the eternal life that uh, God has promised us. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.